Hi, my name is Zach. I am the COO for my company. I started with Excel, moved to Numbers, and then I went back to Excel. So today I'm going to be talking about the comparison. And for more reviews like this, click the link below. Our company uses a lot of spreadsheets for organizing. We use them for shoots, for organizing talent, for looking at sales data. And so we really needed a robust program that used spreadsheets. So like all things Mac, Numbers has a very intuitive and very clean looking user interface. A lot of nice colors, all the blocks have nice little clean uh, widgets so it's easy to navigate and it integrates into the rest of Mac's Office software. Microsoft Excel is the OG when people think of spreadsheets. So it's got all of the formulas, all the functionality that you could possibly need. It's got every kind of function you could possibly want to put into a spreadsheet. Plus, it integrates very seamlessly with not only all of Office's other softwares, but even Google Sheets and Google Office offerings. Both programs are relatively easy to get started with. I think a lot more people are probably familiar with the Microsoft Office interface to begin with, but like all things Mac, Numbers is pretty intuitive to learn, though it is a bit different from the Microsoft Office. So you just have to learn where the same buttons are located. They might be, you know, in Excel it might be on the right, but in Numbers it's on the left. So it's just kind of learning the, the same function, different dialects. When I'm looking for a software to integrate into my company, I look for three things. I look for what is the learning curve? We are very busy and we don't have time to do a seminar for everyone to learn how to use this new program, so it's got to be intuitive. Next, it needs to be effective. We don't have time to find out six months later that we dedicated all this time to learning this only to find out that it doesn't accomplish the tasks we originally needed to accomplish. And then the third thing is pricing it needs to have a good cost-benefit ratio. Now, for both of these programs, they usually come bundled into whatever Office suite, whether it's the Mac Works or the Microsoft Office 365. So both of them have a fairly low barrier of entry for price, but I'd say those are the three things I'm looking for when selecting software. 